Hope you're all still awake. Late Night Mega here. And I think I have this puzzle figured out. First step is to get rid of enemies that are in our way. And so here is how this is done. This still took me a few tries off camera. So I want to come over here. I just hop over here and we're going to push this block down. Yep, you just want to be able to push it around down here. Uh, this statue... Don't push it off that ledge. That, that will not go well. I'm just going a little bit slow to make sure I still have the ability to push the statue uh, and I don't end up getting it stuck. So what we need to do is we need to create a bridge path here. Yep, bridge path. And then we need to destroy some boxes, which we can't do by rolling on top of them. I'm like trying to figure out how to best destroy boxes here. There we go. Now, is there a reason to have any boxes? Probably not. Okay, then we're going to go back around, and then what you got to do is you got to push the statue down, but push it to the second row, where you can still get behind it and push it again. So don't put it in that corner, like where it is right now. So we're going to push it down one. There we go. And, okay, now they're back to back. I need them facing each other. Okay. So we're going to do that. Now I just got it. How do I get back up there? Oh, crap. Because I'd have to go around this way to get back up. I can't jump. Oh. Okay, that screwed it up. And the way you actually get back up, you have to swim downward. You can make it back to another shore that way. You can't actually get anywhere over here, despite my trying. So yeah, we're going to cut to where I fix this. Okay. Let's try this again, but slightly differently. I'm just like, do I want to push the block down right now, or do I want to wait? I'm trying to be so careful doing this. Also, the enemies keep respawning, which is why my health is so low. Because I also tried to use my ice magic on them, and it kept saying I didn't have enough mana to do so. And I'm like, well, where is it? And then the enemy's like charging in, and then I'm like, okay, I just got to start hitting them with my sword because I need to save my bombs because I've got like one or two left. <laughs> so the first thing you need to do though is to push this. We're gonna push it, push that block over here and now we can destroy the boxes. But we don't want to destroy all of the boxes. We only want to destroy... Yeah, those two are fine and then the two next to them are fine. Technically, the one up there would be fine, but we're not going to do that one. Okay, now we go back up and around. Yeah, this is going to get interesting, because now I'm super low on health. Okay, so now we push this thing down here. We still have the space pushed around. Yeah, there we go. Now the two statues are hugging each other, and I'm about to have problems. I have an A-bomb left. Uh, let's pull out some arrows. Eh, arrows aren't bad for a distance attack. Can 
Can I have anything useful? Hearts? Bombs? No. A secret deep under where the widows wept? Where would the widows weep? Probably at this gravestone. Okay, so that statue or that uh, message was a hint. And you can also kind of see it on your map. I guess that would be the other hint that there is a treasure here. And the way we get it, we don't we don't have a shovel, but we do have bombs or a bomb. Oh. Okay. Oh, hey, there's our master key. That is entirely what we were looking for. There's another treasure over there. How do I get to that? Block. Ah, uh, he's shooting at a level lower than me. Okay, so the enemy cannot aim upwards. Let's... But we can arc downwards. Ah, I need that mana. There's a challenge for pushing an enemy off into the water and drowning him. Didn't we do that, though, in the forest shrine? I mean, I guess an enemy, like, walked himself off and died. Still, that's practically the same thing. Wait, did he just pull out a regular-looking key to open that? You mean we don't even get animation for the master key? Come on. Oh, only a true champion will succeed. Well, good thing I'm here. Uh, we need arrows. Okay, how come the first arrow hit him? Which would have technically been equally as over his head. But then the other two arrows I fired went over his head instead of at him. That doesn't make sense. Um, I did not mean to trigger a cutscene yet. I wanted that treasure. Oh, uh, yeah, there's Coral Sword. I want that, too. Well, that wasn't difficult to pull out. That's kind of a neat-looking design there with the uh, white blade and then the three dots. So cool, we have the Coral Sword now. Our other sword just, uh, it vanished. Yeah, an experience crystal. Okay. So our new Coral Sword, what it's going to do... It's not going to let me walk under here. Okay, I guess there's nothing over there. Oh, this requires the Master Key, because it's the green treasure. Oh, a piece of heart. That's also very nice. So the Coral Sword is going to hit enemies for double the strength of our basic sword. Which is going to be better, but it's not going to be... It's not going to be like... Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening, where you get the level 2 sword and you pretty much slaughter all the normal enemies in one to two hits. Mostly one hit. Yeah, it's not going to be that good. But it will... It'll roughly half the amount of hits that enemies take. Granted, a lot of enemies in this game have been taking three to five sword hits, so now they're going to take two to three. Uh, depending on how much, you know, they could take previously. Like, the guys, what probably bothers me the most is the guys that take five hits still take three hits to kill. Um, but the guys that took four hits, like those, ah, like this skeleton warrior here, he now only takes two hits. Of course, you have to actually hit him and, come on, hit the guy. He does not have a shield. Why is that more difficult than what it should be? Yeah, he's only going to take two hits now instead of four from the sword. 
Uh, this will also make gathering the bloodstones a lot quicker, because it'll take half the amount of hits. Oh, yeah. Well, now I get to show off how to... Yeah, so you can, you can actually swim and make... I'm so used to him not being able to swim to anywhere that if we don't have enough mana... This, oh, this could be a big issue. Oh, we might die here. Let's find out. Uh, I do not feel like taking on that guy. So let's go... Yeah, those things that took three hits now still take two. Hey, we can freeze stuff. Gosh, there's another skeleton warrior. So yeah, it's a strict upgrade to the previous sword, but I kind of wish... I don't know. I, I still kind of wish it would kill almost all the enemies we've encountered so far in one to two hits. Barring maybe those big sledgehammer guys. How do I... Oh. I'm... Uh, yeah, you can't actually jump off that. So weird. Some of the quirks about this game are just so weird. Yeah, I got to go this way. So we have to deal with him. I want to push someone in the water. Because it's a fun thing to do anyways, but we're not going to do that. Okay, next time we're going to go around and do some collecting collectibles.